Okay, I'm going to show you how to install the trigger lightning device on the M17S. The first thing that you want to do is make sure you detach the lower from the upper. And when you do so, you need to make sure that the hammer is released and all the way forward. We're going to replace this mechanism, the trigger, and the trigger cam inside with the one piece assembly um, that I sell. You can buy just the lightning device and not the trigger um, and either will work, it doesn't matter. So, first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to push out this pin right here, a little roll pin. On some models it pushes out really easy. On others, it's quite difficult to press out. So you may need to use a, a hammer to slightly knock it out. I try not to push the pin all the way out. I push it just so that it has a little bit still left in. When we do this, we will remove the back first. We'll pull up the rod, pull the rod out of the back. And then we'll lift the whole assembly out with the rod and everything. And we'll just remove the, the guide rod. We'll remove the spring. We'll then take the spring and put it back into the new assembly. The spring's important to have. You need to, you need to have it. Um, another thing that you need to do is on this guide rod you need to make sure that this angle here on the rod is bent at a 90 degrees. If it's bent down you'll need to tweak that so that it's at a perfect 90 degrees. It doesn't have to be perfect but it needs to be really close to 90 degrees. If it's bent downward um, you'll need to make that adjustment. So we'll put it back in location Make sure the spring is working, and we'll slide it in the assembly, and we'll just leave the rod just kind of hanging there. It doesn't have to be in place yet. Then what I like to do is I like to take and put my pin through the hole to kind of align it, and I include a couple spacers for you to install the kind of center of the trigger. I like to pull the trigger more towards the left of the rifle. Um, so I put the spacer on, on this side. It helps with the, the safety device. So I just go through and kind of maneuver it, drop it down. Oh, fell through. I like to kind of do this on the side so I can position it where I need it to go. And I get it started. And you can usually just press it in with your other punch once it gets started. Once it gets started, then I take it out the rest of the way and then just push it. Then you'll have to take the sear, pull the sear back so that it will catch. Now, I also supply some grease so that you can grease around the rod here, around where the rod attaches, and I also put grease on this face here and this face here to help with lubricity. Um, you can also put some right up here in this area because this is where it tends to kind of rub the most. And then is what I'll do is I'll cock it and I'll pull the trigger while holding um, my finger on the hammer so that it doesn't fall all the way forward and possibly damage your receiver. So I'll just do it a couple times just to make sure that it operates correctly. Another thing that I'll do is look at the sear engagement 
to make sure that it's fully engaging on the sear. Um, and I'll pull it all the way forward. While holding the trigger in, I'll bring it back to make sure that it catches on the disconnector. So it caught, and I'll do it again. I'll hold the trigger forward. I'll press it back, and it catches again. You want to make sure that it catches. If it doesn't catch, then you need to do some more adjustment on your rod where it connects to the lightning device. So not much to it. Um, if you are buying just the lightning device, you will take your stock trigger, press out the roll pin here, put my lightning device in place of this one and install your stock trigger. Um, not, not too difficult to do. So if you have any questions, send me an email.